All right, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net. We're going to start up Adobe Edge Animate CC. And what we're going to be doing here is playing some videos. So let's go ahead and check it out. As you can see here, we've got a video running. And the reason why there's no sound is that I've got it to automatically mute once the video runs. And it's going to run for 10 seconds, then it's going to stop. And then we've got a video over here that is loaded inside of YouTube. We click here, and then the video starts to run. And so uh, that's what we're going to be creating today. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. So let's go ahead and create a new composition. And let's add in our container. Oops. That is our container. Let's go ahead and duplicate that container and turn this into a cube. Drag, drop it on top of the container to make it a child of the container. And now let's come over here and we're going to add in a frame here. Huh, it's, there we go. Okay. We got this one right here. So then let's come in here and hold it. Let's go back. Let's choose our color. We're going to change that to red. We are going to duplicate this one. And then we're going to drag this one on top of here. Now this right here is our movie. And this is our maker one. So let's change that to one as well. Drag both of these on top of cube. And then put movie on top of maker. Now let's come over here and we're going to change the color of this one to black. And now with both, whoops, let's bring that back. With both of these selected, let's copy and paste. And then we're going to uh, change this one to two. And this one as well to two. And then we're going to drag this one on top of here. That way we got them in order. Okay, now we're going to select these two guys right here and move this one down to here. Okay, so now we've got our Movie Maker 1 and our Movie Maker 2. And so we're gonna come right here. Well, first let's go ahead and jump into our stage. Now inside of our stage, we need to add in some information. I've got down here inside of a notepad, I've got these three lines here. Now the first line is to our Edge Hero JS file. And then we've got a line here that's going to uh, our first movie, which was the Big Bunny. And then our uh, next video, which is our YouTube, which is the video for our first lesson of Edge Hero. Let's go ahead and grab a hold of them. Come over here to our stage. Click here. Choose Creation Complete. And paste that in. Okay, we got YouTube 1 and Video Link 1. So we got to keep these in mind for whenever we do our next thing. Let's come over here to our Maker, which is our top one here. Come over here to our class, click here, and choose video, link, one, auto play. And we want it to be muted right off the get go. And that's it. Okay, now you can add in a loop if you want it to loop. And you can also add in controls. We almost forgot about the controls. Let's go back here, type in controls here. So what we got here is that we've got our video link one, which is underscore one. We've got our controls for our video player. It's going to auto play for us, and it's going to be muted whenever it starts to play, and then it is going to loop. So they are your options. So these two right here, well, actually, all three of these you don't really have to have in yonder. And so the one that I'm going to remove is the loop because I do not want the video to loop. Okay, so that would be our first one. So we can copy this. Let's come over here to the Maker 2. Choose Class. Paste this in. And we're going to change video to YouTube. So that's YouTube link underscore one controls. We do not want it to autoplay because our first video is going to autoplay. But, however, we do want it to be muted whenever it plays. And so, let's look at this one more time. We've got our maker, 
which is here. Now remember, everything has to be a child. So we've got our container, which is this grayish box here. And our cube, which is also the gray box. So our container first, our cube is second, and then our movie, which is right up underneath here. And then our maker, which is this main part here. And then we've got uh, the same thing here, the movie and then the maker. And so we do not put anything under our movie. We only add in a class under our maker. So our maker one is going to get the video link, which is going to be the big bunny. And then our maker two is going to get the YouTube link uh, controls muted, which is going to be the first video lesson of the edge edge oops did i forget the name of it i think i forgot the name of it did i actually forget the name of it edge hero i am sorry about that so anyway let's go ahead and give it a try and there we go we got our big bunny playing right here if y'all have never seen big bunny do a search on youtube for it it is hilarious big bunny is so cool and then whenever we come over here we click and then the video will load now, for some reason, it says that the video frame is too small. I just show that to begin with because this frame is so tiny uh, just for this lesson right here because this is actually an HD video, and I reckon uh, the HD video just does not like this large frame. So, anyway, this is Wayne Barron with darkfix.net, and I uh, hope that y'all enjoy Edge Hero. It's turned out to be one heck of a cool plug-in. So, uh, to Rob and the guys, once again, man, y'all keep up the good work, and... Uh, I will continue to uh, learn whatever I can learn with this and uh, continue on down the road. All right. Y'all have a good week now. Bye-bye.